precious stones used as artificial precious stones that is point number 1 point number 2 you may be knowing iit kanpur dr bala subramanian dr bala subramanian has conducted the research in iron pillar of delhi why it is not rusting you may be knowing that i used to say the mehrauli delhi iron pillar is not rusting even though parliament is near by that <laughs> still it is not rusting why it is not rusting the conclusion is that 50 micron thick iron phosphate painting is given 1850 years ago iron phosphate painting 50 micron thickness with the help of japanese students using ndt you know ndt non destructive testing they have conducted the study and proved this data published in indian journal of the history of science we also published the book is available outside and that metallurgical knowledge how beautiful it is and zinc metallurgy started in india from 2000 bc that process was taken by william champion to uk looted there and he patented there in 17th century till then no knowledge was there in england about the zinc when that fellow took it he said it is malabar lead he never said it is zinc and we in dariba mines of rajasthan we distilled the zinc beautiful process 99.97% pure zinc metal could be produced one sheet of zinc metal 2 meter into 2 meter it was obtained from akora village near athens and greek top of which it is written sanskrit takshashila 600 bc the sheet of zinc was manufactured from takshashila carbon dating tells that is 600 bc that remains intact under the surface of the earth and while excavating the soil for constructing a flat in agora village near athens greek they got it excavated from underneath and they found the purity is so super so technology of zinc metal so nicely they have done so ritika kagadundi cha pittalam dividham bhavet metallurgists are sitting here there are two types of brass alpha brass beta brass alpha brass if i am not wrong contains zinc less than 28.3% if it contains more than 28.3% it is called vidika the other one is called kagadundi in sanskrit written by nagarjuna 800 ad rasaratna samuchayam book alpha brass and beta brass really classified systematically and the composition is written that they could manufacture in india and tin metal kuragam misragam chedi dividam vangamuchyade two type of tin was available alpha tin and beta tin just remember alpha tin and beta tin are allotropic forms which exchanges at 13.1 degree centigrade at 13.1 degree centigrade all over india the temperature is above 13.1 degree except in kashmir and terrorist attack so you can see that 13.1 degree is alpha and beta tin just big changes allotropic forms but nagarjuna could find out these two allotropic forms guragam tatra gunai shreshtam misragam cha dhamam bhave alpha tin which is which is having super quality misragam is having lower quality this is according to modern science also said so our metallurgical knowledge something super i stop metallurgy with that you know woods metal one haddock is the dr haddock a uh, metallurgy professors may be definitely knowing him he is coming into india very frequently for finding out the metallurgical technology existed in india long back and he said the woods steel made in india long ago you know banaras sword was there and banaras sword used to be made by woods steel 33 pounds of this wood steel was taken by alexander 
I cannot say Alexander the Great. If you want to say Alexander the Great, you can say. Because Alexander is the person who invaded India, who destroyed many things. I cannot tell him great. Okay? One person who invaded India, can I say he is great? I am not interested. So, Alexander took 33 pounds of steel from Puru and he made Banaras sword with the help of two blacksmiths from Banaras and this sword was manufactured in Damascus by Alexander. From that day onwards, Banaras' word is known as Damascus word. <laughs> Banaras' word is known as Damascus word. Even now it is known as Damascus word. Unfortunately, we are not worried about it. And that wood steel, Dr. Haddock wanted to make it. He could not make it. And in an interview, he was telling that, I tried my level best for three years to make the wood steel. Not possible for me. And that wood steel, using which if you are making Banaras sword, the quality of the sword is said to be that. The Banaras muslin sari, you hang or hang in a hook, cut it with Banaras sword, it becomes two, the sari becomes two. That is the quality of Banaras sword. Now, if you are taking a sword and cutting a banana fruit, now the sword will become two, banana will remain <laughs> That quality could be made here in India about 2,500 years ago. So our metallurgy, I'm stopping there. Slightly civil engineering technology, your agenda, Elora. 29 Chaityas and Viharas are carved from a mountain, from Vindhya mountain, at a time when there was no electricity, no coke or coal. No diesel, no baby call. <laughs> so, you are just carving inside, breaking it open. 29 rooms, 21 meter long, 17 meter wide, 11 meter high, uniformly geometric. Inside every room, you have got 11 meter high, Buddha idol. How could they carve it from there, right from 50 BC to 400 AD, when you are just sitting? Think about it. And when you are looking into the Tamil Nadu temple Gopurams, seven story, eight stories, eight floors, 13 floors going up, and the cement used for making the Gopura. The modern Gopura, Rameshwara Mandabam, if you are walking inside during rainy season, look up, not even a single drop of water will be falling in the rainy season. Go to a modern building, not even a single drop of water will go outside. <laughs> so, our modern cement, I said little as a joke. So ancient cement in Patmanabha Swami temple, so 21 feet long, Granite pieces having one side 1.25 foot and like this the pillars are piled one after the other. In between the cement is put 1400 years ago and the total Pradakshina Pandha, the, the path of the Pradakshina, you can see about 12,000 granite pieces are put and in between that cement is also put. 1,400 years ago, it is directly subjected to rain, directly subjected to hot sun, and also winter, not even a single crack. Why it is so? If you are going to Lothal, you know that Lothal is a Mohanjadara and Harappa, if you want to go there, you have to take the permission of Parvesh Masharov. As long as our Prime Minister is here, he will not allow our going to Pakistan. So. If you cannot see this Mohanjodaro and Harappa, only one place is there for you to go, that is Lothal. 3000 BC, the industrial estate which was in full function, that is in Lothal, you can see still all the industrial estate, the foundations as such, the bricks, etc. used. Nearly 6.2 lakhs bricks were used for constructing that artificial harbor. At the time of excavation done by Dr. S. R. Rao, Many of the old bricks, they have got just 
uh, hit by the chisel used for digging that artificial harbor at the place of the old bricks 